In this video, we'll cover how to configure your BOM as well as how to generate fabrication outputs. First, let's go over how to generate your fabrication outputs. I'd like to mention that the outputs on the Outputs tab and here in Generate Outputs are not connected. If you'd like to generate your outputs as a batch, use Generate Outputs under the Project tab. But if you'd like to generate each individually, then the Outputs tab is the place to be. To configure each type of fabrication document, all that's needed is to choose the variant file you'd like to work with and configure. Follow the setup process and you're good to go. Similar to fabrication documentation, to configure your BOM, select Configure. The left-hand side of the dialog contains two regions, grouped columns and all columns. The latter provides a listing of all columns for use in the report, with each column reflective of a particular component property or parameter. Each column has an associated show option. Enable this option to display that column in the data region on the right-hand side of the dialog. This region displays the data as it will be presented in the generated BOM report. Each enabled column will list information for each of the components found in the source document where such information exists. If that component does not have any information for that particular property or parameter, the field will be left blank. Components can be grouped together by one or more specific columns of information. To add or remove different parameters from the grouped column region, simply drag and drop from the all columns region. Alphabetically sort data by clicking on each column head. You're also able to filter each column from the pull-down menu on the top of each column by clicking on the arrow. Looking at the bottom of the dialog, you're able to see three options, Export Options, Excel Options, and Supplier Options. Under the Supplier Options, you can choose your currency and production quantity. Since suppliers typically offer various quantity pricing levels, depending on how many units you're purchasing, you can use the Roundup Order Quantity to Cheaper Price Break to take advantage of the next reduced pricing level. Next, let's look at Excel options. When exporting the BOM report into a Microsoft Excel worksheet format, you have the ability to control the appearance of the report using a nominated Excel template. All that's needed is to enter the required template file name directly into the template field, or click the Browse button to find it. Alternatively, you can click the drop-down arrow to access a listing of predefined default templates that are included as part of the Circuit Studio installation. When you're all done organizing your BOM, export it out as a CSV file and upload it to the Octopart BOM Scrubber. It's free and does a great job of scanning and lowering any potential risks.